Welcome to Pastor Elijah. He is a tremendous man with the heart of, of Jesus to win the souls. Elijah, what was what has happened in the year that we have been past? Okay, so uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. And uh, we thank God for your life and how God has been using you to, to lift up and empower this generation, uh, discovering the gifts and the talents and ministry and lifting many to know they are calling in Jesus' name. So I will begin by uh, saying that this year, 2023, it was a very tremendous year for us as a Springs of Revival, Western Uganda. And we've seen the hand of God. It has been a great work. Yes, a bit some challenges, but God has been with us. Uh, in this year, by the grace of God, uh, in Western Uganda, we do a lot of outreach crusades, we do a lot of uh, evangelism and uh, as church planting as well. So we are called church planting, evangelism, crusades uh, uh, all over this Western Uganda where God has placed us. And uh, in this year, by the grace of God, uh, we have visited a lot of places in. Uh, in crusades, preaching the gospel, reaching out to far places. Uh, uh, in May, in May we had seven crusades. May and June, we had seven crusades. We visited. Uh, there is a place in Western Uganda called Rukoni. We had a powerful crusade for two days. And uh, we saw 20 people coming to Jesus. We also visited uh, uh, the place called Inyachivale. Uh, we saw it was so powerful and so marvelous. We saw over, there were over 30 people coming to Jesus. Uh, we visited also Bihiri in May. Uh, Bihiri was so powerful. We saw, uh, 15 people coming to Jesus. Wow. Uh, we also visited, visited a place called Chihanga for two days. We saw nine people coming to Jesus. Uh, we visited a very tremendous place called Chilela for two days in May. Uh, uh, huh? No, Chilela was in, in June. Uh, 11 souls came to Jesus for the first day, second day. Six came to Jesus, making up to 17. We visited Kabobo for two days, and uh, it was so powerful. It was so tremendous in uh, Kabobo. And, uh, and people came to Jesus. Miracles, uh, signs, and God are following us, as the Bible says. So we thank God so much. And... Uh, in uh, in August, at the end of August and uh, September, we had three crusades. Three crusades. We visited. Uh, uh, we, vis we visited Bihili and uh, Zimbabwe. We visited Bihili and Zimbabwe in September, and this December we have so far visited the Luham. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. So that was the work of evangelism this year by the grace of God. And uh, it was very nice. We were with you in Bihiri and uh, uh, Sembala. Oh, yeah. Yes, and it was. it's always so nice to be in Western Uganda. It's always it's a burning fire of the Holy Spirit and it's tremendous to be there. So Okay. Uh, we also had church planting. Uh, in uh, in September, when you came, yeah, we were with you in Bihiri. Uh, when we planted the church in Bihiri, you came. And also, 
a church in Nambiri, Zimbabwe. Uh, we launched it out and officially opened that church in that crusade we had there. Also, this December, we were in Ruhama for opening the church and planting it. So, so far this year, we've planted three churches by the grace of God. Amen. So, we thank God so much for that. Yes. Well, people and, uh, ask me from other mm -hmm. places, how many churches in uh, it's in Spring Revival now in Western Uganda? Okay, now so far, in the period of uh, of two and a half years, we have we now have six churches. In uh, we have we have two churches in Zimbabwe. We have three. We have two churches in Ntungamo, and uh, no, Ntungamo have three churches and uh, one church in East Injuro District, Springs of Revival. Yes. Those are the churches now. Yes, we thank Jesus for this great, that he is pouring out his spirit all over yeah. Western Uganda. And I really look forward to, to look what's happening next year because I knew the Lord will do great things also in Western Uganda. So... Elia, what has the Lord spoke to you about next year? So, so far concerning the next year, as uh, according to the prayers we've been praying, and according to the plans we have, we are seeing a lot of a lot of multiplication because um, next year we have over over seven districts to visit and uh, all of those places we shall be opening their churches uh we shall be again in east in in, uh, in february uh for church planting but we shall also have their crusade and that crusade shall be opening a church we shall be in uh, makukulu the place is called Makukuru in Zimbabwe. We shall be there opening a church. We shall be in uh, Sanga town, Chiluhula district, opening uh, a church there with the powerful crusade, believing God. And uh, we shall, by the grace of God, we are also planning to be in Mbalala city. And we, shall, we, are, we shall be in Mbalala city. That is the heart of Western Uganda. So we shall be in Mbalala, opening there is Springs of Revival Church. And uh, we are planning also to have a church in Tanzania. Tanzania, that is the country of Tanzania. So we are going to Tanzania to open a church. The place is called the Kashenyi. And by the grace of God, the Lord has already provided there a land, a church land. And uh, we shall be also in Rwanda, Ruchiga. We shall be in Rwanda for a concert and a church plant by the grace of God. Then a lot of plans concerning next year. Uh, we shall also, we need to revisit the, the planted churches for empowerment. Because when we build church, we have to go there and see how they are doing. We empower them, we preach the gospel, more people to come in church and uh, and establish the members in the churches. Yes, because and, uh, we, yes, mm. yeah, and it's a lot of people don't under, really understand that they, everyone hear, hearing about new church planting and think it's just fun, but it's a lot of hard work and we really yeah. appreciate you and the team that you are working so hard. But mm. we have to be honestly that uh, I speak to you that listen today, that I speak, I always praying with Elijah and said, we are proclaiming an open heaven. But if you also want to have an open heaven and you want to, like Jesus is saying that you can buy gold and silver and 
to buy gold and silver in heaven is to support the evangelic work. And what I remember in the beginning, I was suffering that because the blessings of the Lord was not so strong in my life and Carrie's life, and financial. But when we start to put the seeds out for evangelism, for reaching out for to reach uh, the people, immediately our financial blessing increased tremendous. So. Be a partner. Take contact with Elia or me and, and say that you want to be a partner. And you also can be a, a, a partner in this harvest because it's also written, who does give a, a prophet a glass of water or you give an evangelist or an apostle what he needs? Then you shall have the same reward. So I encourage you that are listening that you also can be a part of these great things what the Lord is doing and these great plans. Are you agree? Because we are always crying empty money pockets. Also, then uh, for empowerment and uh, crusades to be uh, for empowerment crusades and conferences, which are also uh, next year we want to to visit Bihili. We want to visit uh, also at our only church. We need to make a very powerful conference and crusade for empowerment of, of church and leaders. And uh, we shall also back visit Luhama Gaid and uh, Zimbabwe, Nabutaja, and Nambiriz. So, believe in God for that. Also, uh, we are believing God for a lot of things. It's from 16th the next year of January, we are, we are planning to have a minister's training because many churches are being planted and uh, more work needs to be done. We need to reach more communities and societies. So we are planning to have a, a training mini, uh, minister's training for at least a week. And uh, after that, we give out some certificates to empower them. And they can also go and do a work in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, yeah, however, also some challenges uh, I need the, 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 the media has to know and people following us, a lot of challenges, but mainly uh, the equipments, the equipments of gospel this year it has been something crazy and something so hard for us but by the grace of god we have been successful because in uh, last time when we went to Zimbabwe, it was a very big battle hey <laughs> it was a very big battle concerning financial uh, financial status because we also ended up having some small issues of uh, of some uh, concerning the transportation because we move as a team, we move with the team. So we ended up having some issues with the uh, transportation. We had, was it like a debt of like 1.3 M in Ugandan shillings? But uh, we thank God that everything is going on well. Uh, yes. Then yeah. also, uh, concerning next year's. I, I was also planning and making some good budget on how to push the gospel and be successful. And uh, we saw we need like uh, we need a, a equipment, sound equipment for the gospel, and uh, we need a car for the team and uh, carrying sound equipment. We need chairs for the crusades. We need tents. So concerning next year, believe in God that if he can do this for us, surely the gospel is going to be preached. Because a lot of societies, a lot of communities deep in villages where we cannot just go because of sound, because of transportation. But by now, we would have been very far with the gospel. And uh, that's also I encouraging people because if you have a mission or to go out and help to do things and today you don't have the chance, then you can 
invest in your ministry, in what the Lord wants to use you. If you give Elijah and the team seats, then you invest also in what the Lord wants to do in your life. I, I speak about mm. experience. So it's really needed to, 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 to we need uh, Elijah and the team, they really need help to, to push on and not uh, be sitting there and and I have a headache, and I, I feel so sorry so many times. And but please, uh, if you like, you can be a partner and, and give support, uh, and and also to see that yes, when we have reached all these places all around on the globe, then Jesus can return. Jesus cannot return before Elijah has been in all these places in Western Uganda. Mm. That's the biblical truth. And, and like when we, Mama and I have been with you, then uh, these places that said, oh, they had even not even set up a Muzungu or a white person before. This is people that have never heard the gospel. And, mm. and then you think this is Africa, that everyone has heard the gospel in Africa. Yes, perhaps in the capitals, in the big cities, but out there in the remote area, with dusty roads and mud holes, people have never heard the gospel with power. So thankful, Elia, for the great work you are doing. Give greetings to all the teams and the churches. And we look forward for the New Year celebration. Yes. Yeah, we are preparing for the, for the Passover crusade. We are beginning on, uh, on Friday, on 29th up to 31st. It will be powerful. We are also praying and praying, believing God for provision as well as this who said, because it will be big, believing in Jesus' name. Before we before we finish, I was also thinking uh, concerning these churches we are building and planting everywhere, uh, because concerning the establishment of these churches, it's very fine and good and encouraging if these churches could get like uh, like the personal lands, personal land ownership. Uh, by the grace of God, also I wanted to put it across, uh, like uh, like Zimbabwe for, for the church in Nabusaja, we got the church land by the grace of God. And uh, the church in Ruhama, we also got a church land. The problem is now on, on the church in Kahoko, where I minister, the church in Bihili, and the church in Nandirizi. And uh, our church needs like, uh, it needs 30 million Uganda shillings for purchase, for the land purchase. At the church in Nandirizi needs uh, 15 million, we've got a land there, but it needs 15 million for purchase. And Behiri, we've got a small land there for five millions for purchase. So also people watching us, I think that's so far what we need. Uh, the, the church lands, if we can purchase the lands for churches, it will be a great opportunity to the communities and the confirmation of the establishment of the churches, knowing that they are permanent, uh, yes, it's so important that people has a place that they can come together and mm -hmm. and, uh, and praise Jesus and but most of all so to have a good Bible teaching so they can have their really good foundation so they're not falling away again. And so yeah. a church building is so important to have and we see that where it's a good church building, it's growing faster than mm -hmm. if you don't have anything. So mm -hmm. yes, it's a lot of needs in the in God kingdom, and I think that also one time the Lord said to a friend of me that when he was suffering hard and he said, "Release the people that are disobedient to give you," and mm -hmm. just two after two hours after, uh, a, a, a wife a, a couple came and gave exactly the amount he needed. So also, mm. don't be disobedient to the Lord by not giving. It's uh, 
be in, in the blessings of the Lord, give with a good heart and receive with a good heart and rejoice in the Lord. That's important teaching also. It's oh, yes. nothing about, like people saying all the time about the, to, to tie it with 10%. But if you read about Jesus, he paid everything for us. He paid all. And we have also to ask Jesus, Jesus, how shall I use my money, my time, everything in my life? Because everything belongs to him. So oh, yeah. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Aliyah. We really trust the Lord for an open heaven and also for open hands for people to support you and the team so that you can continue this great work. Thank you so much and blessings. Okay, bless you.